Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Web Dine Pro ABAP and in the previous videos, we started with OVS as a part of component usage and we firstly understood what is OVS, how it is different from search help, what are the various phases or steps, then we started with the practical part and as a practical part, in the last video, we covered first three steps. So firstly, we simply included into our own WebDen Pro component. Then we included at the component controller level. We went to the attribute. We have chosen the object value selector and we simply pass the name, whatever the name we gave into our WebDen Pro component. Now we will move on to next part. Before we move on to next part, okay. Now we need to write the logic. See, in the previous video we covered, yes, we need to write the logic as a part of phase zero, phase one, phase two, phase three. Now where we will write the logic and you all know whenever we want to write the logic, we will always, always write the logic in the method. So what we will do, we'll simply, simply create a method and we will bind that method with this particular OVS. Yes, because whenever we will go for OVS, this particular logic should trigger because binding is necessary. So what is the last step? Extremely important step. And after that, we will see also SAP will generate the code and we will change that code depends upon our requirement. So what I will do, I will simply, simply go for the method step. So this is our method step in the component controller. If you are going for view level, no problem. You can create a method at the view level also. No problem. If you have taken the attribute locally at the view level, no problem. After including at the view level, you can create a method at the view level itself. Now we simply took this particular attribute at the component controller level. So I will simply go for the methods and I will create a method in the component controller. Okay. Before doing this, I will just update the mapping. I will just go for the view. You all know. Yes. We simply, simply drag and drop the node from the component controller to the view. You can see at the view level, at the, at the component controller level, we changed it to object value selector, but same changes should reflect at the view level also. So how you will reflect those changes? You all know you have to simply, simply right click and update the mapping. You can see at the component controller level, we simply change VBELN to object value selector, but at the view level, it is still, still automatic. So you need to update the mapping. Never forget to update the mapping else changes will not reflect. And in the previous videos, I explained, yes, why, why we are going for update mapping. So I will simply right click onto the node and I will update the mapping so that changes reflect in the view as well. I will go for update mapping and then I will show you VBELN also after that. OVBELN will be now OVS. You can see at the view level also the changes reflect. Now I will go to component controller and I will create a method. Why, why we are going for method so that we can write the logic, whatever the logic we want to write for that OVS. I will go to methods and I will create a method. You can give any name to the method. It is totally your wish. Suppose I am giving name of the method is suppose VBELN underscore OBS. Or okay, suppose I will say VBELN underscore OBS. Okay. Now, now I will take the method type as event handler. Okay. I'll just take the method type as event handler. Then I will tell you why, why I am going for event handler method. I will go for simply event handler. Now 
I will simply simply go for this event. Okay, here I will give that description. Suppose OBS for sales document number. Sales document number. Whenever I will go for this event, you will fully understand why why I took it as event handler method. Now I will go for this event. You can see F for help is automatically coming. I will click here. And you can see one thing is coming obsolete. We will not go for obsolete. We'll simply, simply choose this. And now you will fully understand. See how it will be. You can see once you go to the right, what is the name of the component usage? OVS underscore VBELN. This OVS underscore VBELN, have you seen? We simply, simply bind it at the OVS attribute level also. If I will go for this attribute, what is the name? OVS underscore VBELN. For this OVS underscore VBELN, now we have a method. Now we have a method. And in the method, we have the code. So whenever you will click onto that F4 button, OVS underscore VBELN is binded. And for this OVS underscore VBELN, we have a method and in the method, we have the logic. Now the question comes, why, why we have done in the event handler method? Just see, whenever you will click onto the F4 button, one event will trigger and who will handle that particular event? event handler method and you can see SAP is giving the name of the event as OVS. Yes, I will again explain because it is extremely, extremely important step. Now we need to write the logic because we need to write the code because we need to write the code for phase one, phase two, phase three, phase zero, phase one, phase two, phase three, where you will write the code. You will write the code in the method that is sure that we need to go for a method. So it means we need to bind that OVS with that particular method so that whenever we will go for OVS, that logic should trigger. So I simply created the method and method is event handler method. Now, whenever you will go for F for help of the event, you will simply, simply able to see that component usage. And this is we binded with the attribute. So whenever you will click, yes, OVS underscore VBELN is there or for OVS underscore VBELN. We have a event handler method and in the event handler method, we have the code. It means that particular code will trigger. Now you will understand whenever I will double click onto this method, you will be able to see the code which SAP generated. Now, if I will show you the code, you can see we have not written this logic. SAP has written this logic. And have you seen? We have phase zero, we have phase one, we have phase two, we have phase three and extremely good documentation which SAP provided. If you will go for phase zero, it is configuration phase. Suppose if you will go for phase zero configuration phase, which we covered, what is the purpose of phase one? Phase one is to provide the default values. Phase two is for selecting the data and you can see phase three is to apply the result. Anyway, we will change this particular code depends upon our requirement. But SAP is giving a template of the code. We simply, simply change the code depends upon our requirement. Now, what I will do, I will simply go to this syntax check button. I will go for check only. And now I will simply, simply activate this whole web 10 pro component. I will select all the parts. If I went to display mode, anyways, I can right click and activate everything together also. Now, what I will do, I will simply, simply put a break point so that you can understand. I will apply pretty printer so that the keywords will be in uppercase. I will put a break point so that you will understand how this method is triggering. 
Now I will put a breakpoint and I will show you the value of phase indicator. I covered also at the starting level, the current phase is indicated by phase underscore indicator. And you can see phase underscore indicator. Now I will run and we will understand how this logic is triggering. Anyways, we need to change the logic that we will do in the next video. I will go for test. I will go for allow. Now we will simply, simply log in. Now I will click here. You all know whenever I will click here, we binded the OVS. What is the name of OVS we gave? If I will go for this attribute, what is the name of OVS we gave? OVS underscore VBELN. For this OVS underscore VBELN, yes, we have a event. What is the name of the event? OVS. And we have a event handler method. So it means whatever the logic is written, it will trigger. Now I will click on to this button. So OVS underscore VBELN system will simply enter into debugging mode because that method will trigger now. You can see this method trigger. And what is the value of phase indicator? You can see phase indicator zero. It means which phase is going on? Phase zero is going on. I'm going for F8. You can see now what is the value one? What is this phase one is going on? I will go for OK. Now, whenever I will go for go button, again, method will trigger. And you can see system will enter into the debugging mode. And what is the value of phase? Phase is 2. Now I will do F8. Now you can see. Okay, I will just go. Now as of now, we do not have any data. Whenever I will select a record, you all know which particular phase will trigger. Phase 3. As of now, I do not have any data. So I will not be able to show the value of phase 3. Anyways, whenever we will write the code in these phases, you will automatically understand how to write or how we will go for phase 0, phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3. So what is the summary of this particular video? Extremely important video. In this video, firstly, I updated the mapping at the view level. Because you have chosen OVS in the component controller level, you need to update the mapping at the view level. Now we need to write the logic for the OVS. You all know whenever we want to write the logic, we have to write the logic in the method. So what I did, I simply, simply created the method and method will be event handler method. And whenever we will go for this event, we simply, simply selected with the help of F4 help. And you can see in the component use, we have this name, which we did at the component level itself. Then we include it at the component level. So what we will do after that, I simply, simply put the breakpoint. When we clicked onto the method, SAP has given the logic phase zero, phase one, phase two, and phase three. And there is a variable phase indicator. Whenever you will click on to F4 button, OVS is there. So OVS method is there. In the method, we have the logic is there. So that particular logic is triggering. I showed you phase 0, phase 1, phase 2. I was unable to show you phase 3 because there is no data as of now because we have not written any logic. Once we do the practical part, I will show you phase 3 also. So that's it in this video. Thank you.